Hi everybody, this is Dale Sorge, one of your candidates for the Office of Governor of the great state of Washington, and this is a moment to imagine liberty. In my life and my Christian ministry, I've had the opportunity to meet and to become friends with quite a few people who have drug addiction problems. I've been there for them during times when they were deepest in their addiction, and I've also been there during the times when they're more lucid and battling to stay clean. You know, one of the interesting things that I've noticed about many of those that I've gotten to be closest with through those years was that during the times when they were clean, they were often filled with plans and dreams of things that they were now going to do to help others in the future. Most of their dreams during those very lucid times were they're very grand in scale like wanting to open teen centers so they could help and counsel young teens to avoid the mistakes that they had made or open a group home so that they could help the homeless to find a more permanent place to live. There were others but you get the idea. Now obviously there was nothing wrong with their dreaming. The problem was that their ideas were not really grounded in reality. I would always suggest that they should probably work first to find a steady job and then let their bigger dreams find their place along their path. I don't know if that was the right or wrong suggestion for me, but they always appreciated our friendship and my desire to help them to get better. What I came to conclude though was that the dream of what they could do was always easier than the task of what they should do. Dreaming about something really costs nothing. And as long as you dream about doing something, you can give yourself the false illusion that you're actually doing something towards that end. And as long as you dream about something grander, you never really have to do any work to understand or, or correct your current situation. You know, that's the same way that I feel when I hear someone say that our answer to our country's current financial crisis is just to take more money from, from the rich. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I should say that I am categorically not one of the rich. Um, of course, even though I wish I was, I'm not. Our current federal budget deficit is running around one and a half trillion dollars annually. The current wealth of all the billionaires in the country is estimated to be just around 1.3 trillion. So you could take everything from them and still not cover the yearly deficit, not to mention our growing 14 and a half trillion dollar federal debt. But as long as we keep repeating the dream, take more from the rich and all of our troubles will be washed away, then we will never actually have to face the reality of the things that we should do. I suggest again that we would be better off fighting to let all hardworking people keep the money that they've worked so hard to earn, even if they're rich, instead of constantly dream, dreaming about how good things would be if we could just figure out how to take more of someone else's money. I invite you to check out our website at www.imagineliberty.us to find out more about our Imagine Liberty campaign. If you've already been persuaded to believe that all we need to do is just take more from the rich and then everything will be okay, then you're in luck because one of the political sides will probably have a candidate that's just right for you. But if you're willing, I would like to invite you to join us this year to break the cycle and to have the courage to think independent.